ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Welcome to day nine, y'all. Praise God. We are moving along in day nine. Remember to eat healthy during these hours from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., praise God, and to move into things of God as he is calling you to. Be sure to pray. Be sure to meditate on the word, praise God. Be sure to consecrate, hallelujah, just drawing close to him during this time because we are submitting to Jesus Christ, praise God. And when we can submit to Jesus Christ, we can submit in our relationships that God has ordained for us. We can be good stewards of what he give us, praise God, and we will be obedient to his call because we will know his voice. Praise God. Hallelujah. So again, this is day nine. We are coming out of Luke and we're looking at the parable where the um, where the master, praise God, the, the one who was going to be uh, named king, gave his servants minas. And he gave each ten, praise God. And so we want to see what happened with that. And so we're going to pick up with verse 11 and it says, and this is out of chapter 19 of Luke, verse 11. While they were listening to these things, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem. And they supposed that the kingdom of God was going to appear immediately, praise God. So they were expecting the kingdom of God to appear immediately. But Jesus has yet to die in this portion of the Bible, praise God. So he still had a work to do. And let's look at verse 12. So he said, a nobleman went to a distant country. You know, Jesus loved parables because this is how he explained things to the people. A nobleman went to a distant country to receive a kingdom for himself and then returned. So we know that nobleman represents Jesus. And he called 10 of his slaves and slaves, I mean the servants, and gave them 10 minas or minas, said to them, do business with this until I come back. Praise God. That lets you know he had business to do. Praise God. And he was going to go away. But his citizens hated him. So the ones who actually belong, they hated Jesus. And it's no different from um, the Israelites being the chosen ones. You know, a, a lot of them would not follow the Lord consistently. They would always move into idolatry and then be pulled back. Praise God. God would do miracles, signs and wonders. And then they will start following um, and being believers and all of a sudden, you know, idolatry is in the land because maybe somebody moved in, maybe a king married someone and then they're bringing in their idolatry and then the people start following that idolatry. Do you understand? So it was a lot of back and forth. And so here in verse 13, it says, and he called 10 of his slaves and gave them 10 minas and said to them, do business with this until I come back. 14, but his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him saying, we do not want this man to reign over us. So this was a declaration, y'all, a decree out of the mouth, praise God. We don't want him to reign over us, praise God. This is their detachment from the covenant. This is their stance against God. This is their turning their backs, being, uh, uh, you know, hardened hearts, having hardened hearts towards Jesus. And then when you move forward, praise God, it says when he returned after receiving the kingdom, he ordered that the slaves to whom he had given the money, he called to him so that he, be called to him so that he might know what business they had done. So Jesus already knew that he would go off, praise God. He would die and he would be gone for, uh, for a while, meaning that he would have sinned. But he's coming back, y'all. The Bible lets us know that he's coming back for his, praise God. He's coming back for the servants, y'all. He's coming back for the ones, praise God, that are marked, the ones that have the seal of the Holy Spirit. He's coming back, y'all. Hallelujah. So we can't be in agreement with the enemy and think that Jesus is going to come and save us, praise God. Uh-uh, that's not how it works. We have to walk down that narrow road, which is Jesus Christ. And this is a choice of all of the, ours. You know, we can decide to uh, believe in Jesus and to, you know, follow the Lord. Or we can decide to do other things like be in the world. And I pray right now that you're choosing Jesus Christ because he is life and life more abundantly. He has promises like you've never even experienced before through your obedience. He will open doors for you. He will uh, increase you, praise God. He will take you to places you've never been before. And I'm telling you, you will be favored in the land. Places where you, were, you weren't favored before. Places where uh, people closed the door on you. Places where people talked about you, praise God. He will make your enemies your footstool. Hallelujah. He will raise you up. And next thing you know, people will be talking about you. 
about you, but it will be ta- they will be talking about what Jesus has done for you. Hallelujah, because Jesus will want to know what business you have done in the mighty name of Jesus. He's going to want to know, hallelujah, what have you been doing? What have you conducted in his absence, praise God, while you have the Holy Spirit at your leisure? Hallelujah. I'm saying to you today that there will be an audit when you leave this earth realm, when you leave this body, of all the things that you have done and accomplished according to the will of God. And if you're not walking in the will of God and you're not moving in the Holy Spirit, then what are you doing? You don't belong to the body of Christ. I don't care how good you are, how sweet you are, praise God, hallelujah, if you're not conducting yourself in the business of Jesus Christ, then you're outside of the body, and it's very simple, you can come on into the body by believing in Jesus Christ, making him your Lord and Savior, and moving in the things of God in obedience, that's it y'all, hallelujah, doing what God is calling you to do in obedience, hallelujah, because that's why we're here in the first place, to conduct the business of God, not the business of ourselves. Hallelujah. And so in this word, I just pray today on day nine that you move into things of God today, understanding that you got business to do. Go conduct your business, praise God. Hallelujah. You got business in Jesus Christ to do. So do it today. Hallelujah. In every single hour, pray, meditate on the word, consecrate to God, spend some time with him today, and just see what he is telling you. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to the Lord. Praise God. We are moving on in this fast, and I'm just so thankful that he's allowing us to just come together and do this in Jesus' mighty name. We honor you, Lord God. We thank you, oh, Father God. We come unto you as your humble children, our Father. Hallelujah. We are praising you and honoring you, Jesus. We thank you for being the leader in our lives. We thank you for being the only choice that we can ever make, praise God. We thank you for highlighting every single thing that we need to know and see in this time, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for letting us know what business we need to conduct today, Father God. Make it clear, make it plain for us. Make it simple, oh Lord. Hallelujah. So that we can be obedient to your call, Father God. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for keeping us protected and safe, oh Lord God. Protecting our coming in and going out, Father God. Our family, our children, Hallelujah. Our households, our properties, our territories, oh Father God. Thank you, oh Lord God, for uh, lifting the delay off of many of our lives, oh Lord God, where the enemy tried to come in and delay, but you sent the angels out, angels out to protect us. You sent the angels out to fight against the enemy on our behalf, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Because you said vengeance belongs to you, praise God. And we are your children and you protect your children. And we're so grateful for your protection, oh Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify you and exalt you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you. We honor you. Hallelujah. And we glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. May your name resound in the land today in the mighty name of Jesus. May everybody know that we serve you. You are our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. And we adore you. Bless you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that each and every one of you are blessed with this word. Praise God. And just know that God loves you. I love you, and I know that you can do this. Continue on strong in this fast, praise God. We have 21 days total, but this is day nine. We're halfway, almost halfway through. So go ahead and continue to move in, eat clean, and do what God is calling you to do. Get to know God. Jesus, my name. Be blessed in all your ways. I'll see you back this evening. All right. To get to know God. Ingredients. 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 To get to know God. Ingredients to get to know.